Airbus A350 family is the newest and most efficient family of widebody aircraft Airbus has ever done. It consists of two key variants, Dash 900 and Dash 1000. Both offer long-range capability, both offer similar cockpits and type ratings, and both offer 25% lower fuel burn than 777. What then are the differences? In today's video, we take a look at the key differences between the two versions. But before we do, if you're new here, a warm welcome and do stay tuned for more great videos on the way, right? Let's take a look at the differences between the Dash 1000 and Dash 900. Number 1. Longer Fuselage Obviously, the big difference is that the 850-1000 is a stretch over the Dash 900, a 7-meter stretch in fact, allowing room for 40 more seats. What is key is that with a longer front cabin, the aircraft has 40% more floor space in the business class section, allowing more premium seats to be installed. Both take 9 abreast with 18-inch wide seats in typical layouts. Number 2. More powerful engines Both the A350-900 and Dash 1000 use the Rolls-Royce Trent XWB engine, though with different states of tune. A350-900 has the Trent XWB 84 engine with 84,000 pounds of thrust, while the Dash 1000 has Trent XWB 97 engines with 97,000 pounds of thrust. Airbus offers lower weights for the Dash 900 with lower thrust outputs of around 75,000 pounds of thrust. Both deliver 15% fuel burn reduction and combined with the A350's aerodynamic design are some of the quietest engines on the market. Trent XWB97 shares the same fan but has a larger core with increased fuel injection. The fan spins faster and has thicker fan blades, worsening fuel burn with additional weight and operates at higher temperatures. Number 3. A modified wing. Both feature the latest morphing wing design, both have skimmeter winglets, and both a 65 meter wingspan. Though the A350 1000 has an extended wing trailing edge with 4% more wing area, allowing for similar approach speeds. The slats and ailerons are extended further outwards on the wing, optimizing it for low speed handling qualities, but slightly worsening cruise performance. Number 4. More Cargo A350-1000 can take 8 more LD3 containers and 3 more pallets. With its larger front and rear cargo area, it takes 4 more containers at the front and 4 more at the rear. The additional space can also be used for fuel, as Airbus is installing an auxiliary tank for Kwana's Project Sunrise with 3000 litres of additional fuel space in those cargo holds. Number 5. More weight. With all that extra capability, does of course come some additional weight. A350-1000 has a maximum takeoff weight of 319 tons by 2022, compared to 280 for the A350-900. Airbus does offer multiple configurations, though the empty weight of the A350-1000 is 13 tons more than the A350-900. This means a 6-wheel landing gear bogey compared to a 4-wheel one for the Dash 900. All in all, with lower fuel burn, quieter cabins, and good performance, it's the extra that makes a difference for Airbus's newest extra-wide body. 